got some breaking news that's coming in at this point in time, and this is in connection to the DMK audio leak fallout. The Tamil Nadu Finance Minister portfolio has uh, been changed, is what we are picking up. Let's go straight across to Dharani, who is joining us live on the broadcast uh, for more on this. Uh, Dharani, what more details are we picking up? Well, uh, we have been uh, saying it for some days now that there is a possibility for uh, uh, Finance Minister Palanivel Tiagarajan to have a different portfolio. And today that has come through, the announcement has officially uh, been you know, put out. So Mr. Palanivel Tiagarajan, who uh, was the Finance Minister of Tamil Nadu, he will, uh, from henceforth, he will be taking uh, care of the, uh, you know, uh, the IT department, uh, the Information Technology Department. And Tangam Tenarasu, who used to be uh, the Industries Minister of Tamil Nadu, he will be the new Finance Minister uh, of the state, replacing Mr. Palanivel Tiagarajan. Uh, so, you know, no specific reason has been cited for this, you know, change because, you know, we all uh, know for a fact that, you know, uh, that CM Stalin himself told that PTR is a very good performer, that, you know, as soon as he assumed the finance ministry, uh, the deficit uh, has, you know, gone down and the revenue has increased. So the, the finance minister, has, uh, you know, uh, has, has been performing good as what the GMK's opinion has been uh, so far. In fact, the chief minister himself told this particular, you know, line and statement in many uh, stages and also in the assembly many uh, times. But uh, this portfolio change has anyway happened and from our sources within the DMK, uh, we are given to understand that uh, this change has something uh, to do with the recent audio clip controversies. Remember, uh, political commentator Savak Shankar and also BJP chief Annamalai had put out uh, two separate uh, you know, audio clips alleging, uh, allegedly containing the voice of the finance minister. So in the audio clips, uh, you know, uh, allegedly by you know, finance minister Parnivel Tiagarajan, uh, it was here that uh, Stalin's son-in-law Sabarisan and you know, son Udainidhi Stalin, uh, they both have earned 30,000 crores you know, in the past two years. Uh, which is multifold compared to what their grandparents had earned in their entire lives. Uh, you know and also, Peter also uh, told that he has never been a, uh, allegedly told that he has never been a person of a person of one you know one uh, one individual and one uh, uh, post in the sense like if you are having a, a government post you should not be holding any post in the political party and if you are holding a you know a position in the political party uh, you should not be holding any post in the government that's what his ideology is is what he was allegedly telling the audio tapes uh, so after these two audio tapes came out a big controversy erupted in the state of Tamil Nadu and uh, you know uh, in fact both the finance minister and the chief minister they came out in open and they told uh, that it is it is not uh, in, uh, Mr. PTR that Absolutely. is in the Absolutely. You know, Dharani will continue to uh, track all those developments. Many thanks for bringing us uh, that update. We are now being uh, joined by DMK's uh, Sarvanan on the broadcast. Many thanks uh, for joining us here on Mirror Now. What is your first reaction? What we are learning at this point in time is that uh, PTR's portfolio has been changed. He will now be the IT minister. Yeah, see, this is a routine transfer. Uh, routine transfer, uh, uh, jig so that there should be, there could be a administrative efficiency. This has been in the cards for a, uh, for some time, and I think uh, they have uh, done that now. There is uh, nothing more to read into this. All right, uh, but uh, what? Uh, all right, uh, many thanks, uh, Sarvanan, uh, for joining us on the broadcast and sharing your views. All right, a big breaking update there. Uh, in fact, the Tamil Nadu Finance Minister's portfolio has been changed. Uh, PT, PTR's portfolio changed PTR to be the IT Minister. Remember, this is uh, amid the audio leak uh, case in uh, Tamil Nadu. Uh, so, audio leak uh, backlash, Tamil Nadu Finance Minister has been uh, shunted out to the IT Ministry. All right, let's go uh, to my go over to my colleague Dharani, who is joining us live on the broadcast for more details. Uh, Dharani, so big breaking update there, and of course uh, we had been reporting this uh, that uh, Tamil Nadu Finance Minister's portfolio has been changed uh, amid uh, the seems to be like a backlash of the audio leaks case.
Well, yes, the finance minister, I know uh, uh, the uh, previous finance minister, Mr. Panvel Tyagarajan, he has now been allocated the information technology department. And Mr. Thangam Tenarasu, uh, who used to be the industries minister, he will now take over the finance ministry, is what we're given to understand. So uh, this is a major reshuffling that has happened in the Tamil Nadu cabinet. And, you know, we are given to understand that uh, this, you know, shuffling has something to do with, uh, uh, you know, the audio clips, the, uh, you know, that erupted, uh, you know, a major controversy in the state of Tamil Nadu. Uh, so recently, a political commentator named Savak and also Tamil Nadu BJP chief Annamalai. Uh, they had put out two audio clips which allegedly contained uh, the voices of uh, uh, the finance minister, Mr. Paranivel Tyagarajan. So in the audio clips, uh, you know, it was here that uh, Stalin's son-in-law, Sabarizan, and also his son, Udainiri Stalin, had earned 30,000 crores in the past two years, uh, which is multifold compared to what their grandparents had earned their entire lives. Uh, and also, the audio clip went on to tell that, you know, uh, tell that, you know, th there should be a one-person, one, uh, you know, post kind of... A, a thing in governance. For example, if someone is holding a post in, the, in a political party, uh, they should not be holding any you know, opposition in the government. And if, if someone is holding a position in the government, uh, they should not be holding any position in, the, in a political party. So one person, one post. So, uh, you know, in, in, the, in the voice clip that was allegedly by Mr. PTR, it was here that they've been a person of, you know, this particular, you know, statement, this particular motto. So after these uh, two audio clips came out, a major controversy erupted in the state of Tamil Nadu. Uh, you know, uh, in fact, uh, both the financial Finance Minister and the Chief Minister come out in open and they denied that it is the Finance Minister in the audio clips. It is his voice in the audio clips. Uh, they told that, you know, certain forces, that is the BJP and, you know, and others, they are uh, using advanced technology uh, like, you know, artificial intelligence uh, to create such deep fake videos because they are not able to digest the fact that uh, the Dravidian model governance is performing good. Uh, you know, they want to disrupt the functioning of the government and that is why these uh, uh, kind of, you know, deep fake video, uh, audios and, Absolutely, you know, videos sometimes uh, are being created. Is what, will continue uh, to same, track all all those uh, developments, a big breaking update there. As uh, you were pointing out, the Tamil Nadu Finance Minister's portfolio has been changed and we are being joined by Vinod uh, Selvanan, who is a BJP spokesperson here on the broadcast. Uh, many thanks for joining us here, Mr. Vinod uh, uh, Miranau. What is your first reaction? We are learning that the Tamil Nadu Finance Minister's portfolio has been changed. Uh, why do you think this has happened? So ever since the DMK files was released, there has been a lot of commotion in the DMK uh, fraternities, especially in the first family. And, uh, you know, adding value to what our state president had released, the, the DMK files and the uh, mega-size corruption scams which have been erupting uh, out of the last two years of governance, it is, uh, you know, very evident from uh, Mr. P PTR's uh, phone audio, the, the audio which got released, that, you know, uh, the, the ministers themselves are frustrated with the kind of governance which the, the DMK family, the DMK Sion family is trying to uh, give here. And the, the allegations are alarming. And now if the DMK, uh, being in power, being the party in the state, if they really, you know, instead of giving statements that this is a tampered tape, they could very well issue... Uh, in order to, you know, find out the truth behind this. Today, there is so much technology, so much data analysis which can be done. So they could very well do an uh, analysis of the audio tape and come out with the fact whether it is, it is, uh, 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 the audio tape is true or not instead of just uh, randomly giving statements on their party's letter pad saying it is right. a manipulated audio tape. Mr. Selvam, but what the DMK is saying is that this is routine. Uh, this uh, cabinet rejig is routine. And that's why this change has been made. But, you know, the timing of the cabinet reshuffle is what really matters. Avdi Nasser, the minister who has been removed, the BJP of the, 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 the Tirubalu unit of BJP has been continuously agitating against this person. They have been continuously mounting pressure against the corruption done by him in his uh, personal district. And, uh, you know, we see as a, as a victory that he has been shunted out because after all the... Uh, uh, allegations which were mounted on him. So BJP, BJP has been holding a very strong uh, fight against this particular individual who was a minister of uh, milk and dairy. And uh, now the, the shuffle of uh, Mr. PTR makes it very evident that, you know, they are very uh, rattled by the DMK files and after the audio tape got released. And they are probably only testing waters to see what will be the reaction among the DMK functionaries and down the line, the party cadres of DMK when the ministers are being shunted out. And, uh, you know, if, if it goes unnoticed, then maybe the right. Thomas family will 
will will take will go on full ahead and you know do a lot of more changes in the ministry so i think they're just trying to test waters at ptr and see what will be the reaction of the cadres right uh, mr selvam many thanks for joining us here on mirror now and sharing your views Right there, a big, big breaking update there. The Tamil Nadu Finance Minister's portfolio has been changed. Uh, he has, in fact, uh, PTR is going to now be the IT Minister. Thangam Thenarasu, uh, who used to be the Industries Minister, would now be the Tamil Nadu Finance Minister. So, new Finance Minister there in uh, Tamil Nadu. Remember, this is amidst the audio leaks backlash uh, that the Cabinet uh, rejig is taking place. All right, uh, we have some more breaking news that is coming in and uh, PTR, who in fact uh, was uh, the Tamil Nadu finance minister and he was, uh, his portfolio got changed just a short while ago, has issued a statement after he was uh, shunted out. He said that he is grateful to Chief Minister Stalin. He's also gone on to say, wish the incoming minister great success. So we have a breaking update there and uh, PTR has issued a statement after being shunted out. He said that he's grateful to Chief Minister Stalin and he wishes that the incoming minister great success. Let's go straight across to my colleague Dharani who is joining us uh, on the broadcast for more on this. Uh, uh, Dharani, PTR has uh, issued a statement just after being shunted out. Yes, uh, PTR has put out a long, uh, you know, statement in his Twitter page about this, you know, portfolio change. So in his statement, Mr. Palanivel Tyagarajan is telling that, uh, you know, uh, despite inheriting record deficits and debt ratios, we have invested in a record number of social welfare schemes as well as record capital spending, all while delivering record-setting fiscal improvements. Uh, this is the epitome of my public service and indeed my life. So he is uh, also thanking uh, the Chief Minister for uh, uh, providing him with, you know, uh, the past port portfolio and also the new... The the IT portfolio, and he's also wishing the incoming finance minister, Mr. Thangam Tenarasu, a great success and many more achievements as he assumes responsibility today. I'm sure he will accelerate the progress already made and deliver new records in his tenure, is what Mr. PTR has uh, uh, you know, to tell to Mr. Thangam Tenarasu. Definitely, uh, Mr. PTR knew that this portfolio change is going to happen, so he has uh, put out a very long statement in his Twitter page thanking the chief minister for providing him with the uh, finance ministry in the first place and also for providing him with the IT ministry strain of so two portfolios and apart from that he is you know uh, he is you know uh, wishing uh, good luck to mr tangam tenarasu who has uh, uh, assumed the uh, you know charge of the you know finance ministry now and it is very important to note one particular line here so he is you know he's talking on you know several uh, you know several actions that were uh, uh, you know that were that were happened uh, that, that happened during his tenure as the finance minister and he is telling that this is the epitome of my public service and indeed my life uh, so he is you know he's gone on to talk about his public life in a statement he is telling that you know he has uh, uh, he has, uh, while, while, while he was appointed the finance minister of Tamil Nadu, uh, there was, you know, there was record deficit and debt ratios. But, you know, they have, despite that, they have inv invested in several, you know, uh, social welfare schemes and as well as uh, uh, the capital. Spending has also increased, you know, all while delivering the poll promise of the GMK. So uh, he seems quite, uh, you know, content with what he did as the finance minister of Tamil Nadu. So uh, he is telling that uh, this will always be, a, you know, a, a major part of his public life and that he feels, uh, you know, satisfied with the, with the kind of work that he did as the finance minister. And uh, now that he is going to take on a new responsibility, uh, he is thanking the CM and also he is wishing the new finance minister a good luck. Right, uh, Tam uh, right. in fact, uh, Dharani, many thanks for uh, sharing all those details with the viewers. In fact, big breaking update there. The Tamil Nadu Finance Minister has been shunted out to the IT Ministry. All right, and